But what else are you going to do? You got to keep falling in love. You got to believe in it. What are you going to do? Give sheep the vote? You got to believe in love, right? That wasn't very funny. Women, I love women, I swear to God. It doesn't, may not seem like it. I fucking love women. What am I going to do? It's so funny. They're always on the audience going, well, how come you don't talk about me? How come you don't say what's wrong with me? How come you only talk about what, what women do? How come you know, uh, there's a reason! There's a fucking reason! Because a man never broke my fucking heart! A man never lied to me in love! A man never made me want to drive my car into a fucking wall! When I talk about love, when I talk about relationships, I'm going to take the male side. You know, that's all I have to work with here for us. But I love women. I do love women. I'm not with one right now because well, it's a lot hard to do this act and mingle after the show. You know? Hi there. Get away. Get away. Son of a bitch. Get away. So I try to uh, do the best I can. You know, I love women. I don't think they get enough sexual attention. They don't. Come on, guys aren't, uh, guys aren't as in touch with that. Until they've been married a couple times. <laughs> then I don't know how it came to me. I was sitting around one day and I go, God, you know, after my second divorce, I said, hey, I bet if I learn how to fuck really good, I won't have to give away everything I own every five fucking years! <laughs> I'm going around the country. I'm trying to get as many people as I can not to get married. I promise never to get married. I've been married, and I'm just trying to help. Okay. So, you've never been married? you never been married? <laughs> What's your name? Michael? Well, Michael, if you ever think about getting married, if you ever think you've met the right woman, you want to settle down, change your life, will you do me a favor, Mike? Remember this face. Because if you get married, Mike, that's going to be your fucking face every day. It's the face of every married man. He wakes up in the morning. It's the truth, man. He wakes up in the morning. He goes to the mirror. He looks in it and goes, ah! What did I do to my life? Ah! Ah! It's, true. it's true, folks. Well, there's one good thing about marriage. I don't want to put the whole institution down. There's one good thing about marriage. Best thing about marriage is that these are connected. They don't come on. Because if they did, your wife would take it as soon as you got married. she go, you're married now. You won't be needing that. I'll just take care of that for you. Now, if you want this, it'll be in my purse or in the refrigerator. <laughs> what? You're going out of town with your friends? You can just leave that here. Learn one thing, guys. Don't tell the truth. Don't tell the truth. Fuck the truth. The truth never kept anybody together, ever. Lies keep you together. Lies enhance your relationship. They enhance your love. Get out of that bed every morning and go, Still love you, honey! <laughs> oh, am I glad I got married! I wish I didn't have to work so I could stay here and fuck you all day! <laughs> Gotta go! I mean, lie, man. Lie your ass up. <laughs> You're as pretty as what we met! <laughs> love ya! You'll stay together! for 50 years you start doing that truth shit oh man oh it's the toughest it's the worst you don't want to do that folks it's tough to make it work man relationships are a bench i don't know i've had i've had a share well the first thing you got to do is you got to figure out what makes each other come that's after the restaurants what kind of movies do you like who do you know in this town? Do you, know, you know, all that shit. Gets down to what does it take to make each other come, you know? I think for, uh, I think for guys, I don't think we make it that tough, ladies. I, think, I don't think we make it that hard. 
It isn't like you need an instructional manual to work with us. We're pretty cooperative. I don't think we put up a lot of trouble. Just stay here It's true. You'd see all these guys on the phone. They'd be going, yeah, hello, guys. Yeah, listen, I'm not going to be able to go. No, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to stay here. She's got my Johnson! <laughs> no, she won't give it to me. I asked for it all day. <laughs> yeah, she's upset. I tried to sneak out of the house with it this morning. And, uh, yeah, I was uh, halfway out the driveway. She came around of the house and I had to give it to her right there in the street. <laughs> okay, I'll ask her. Hold on. Uh, honey, it's the guys. Well, no, they just called to say that they're all taking theirs. <laughs> I'm just going to take mine because I didn't want to stand out or anything. Uh, okay. Yeah, she said no way. <laughs> no, she said the winky stays here, yeah. <laughs> you guys do me a favor if you see me working on the yard next week and around the house and uh, we do me a favor. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. I'm in hell. Will you shoot me? Poison my food? Run me over with the car? Whatever it takes. I'm in hell! They go, Sam, how come you just talk about women? Woman came up to me and goes, why do you just talk about women? Why don't you talk what's wrong with me? Why do you talk about women? I'll tell you why! I got an answer! There's a good reason I don't talk about men. Because a man never broke my heart! A man never lied to me! A man never made me want to drive my car into a brick wall! But women did! So when I talk about relationships, obviously, I'm going to take the male point of view. But that doesn't mean I'm not fair. I try to be fair. I just wrote a sex book trying to help people who, <laughs> whose uh, marriages are not only in a rut, they're in a grave, right? <laughs> Sometimes because a relationship can uh, take a lot out of you. You need to keep things exciting in it. So I came up with a few games you might want to play at home. You can play these anywhere. One of them is uh, Prisoner and Warden's Wife. This is a lot of fun. You play it in your spare time. You break in the house. He goes, oh, oh, how did you get in the house? Go, oh, oh, I know you. You're the warden's wife. I was in the hole five years. Oh, if you're a little kinkier, wait, if you're a little kinkier, you can go farther than that. You can play stray dog and dog catcher's wife. It's a little kinkier. That's when you come in, you go, oh, how did you get in the house? Oh, oh, I know you. You're the dog catcher's wife. Oh, I I don't want to see more commercials. I'm sick of commercials about world hunger. You know, I'm sick of the same fucking two-year-old going, <laughs> Zoom in, zoom in. <laughs> I'm watching this, right? I know. I'm watching this commercial. Oh, I'm sorry, Van Halen's on. Uh, no, I'm scared. I watch the world. I know the fucking film crew can give this guy a sandwich. <laughs> They're five feet away. <laughs> the director's going, don't feed him yet! I want this shot! Don't feed him yet! I need desperation! So what I tell you is do not support world hunger organizations. Don't send them any more money. You know, because the problem with world hunger is we've been sending them food. You want to stop world hunger? Stop sending them food. Don't send these people another bite. You want to help them? Send them you alls <laughs> Send them luggage. Send the guy there and go, hey, hey, hey. You know, we came out here all the way uh, six, 700 miles in the desert today with your food, like we do every day, like we like a pizza place that delivers. <laughs> and it occurred to us that there wouldn't be world hunger if you people would live without food. This is sand. <laughs> you know it's going to be a hundred years from now, huh? It's going to be sand! It's not turning dirty into a mall or McDonald's. You live in a desert! Get your kids, get all your stuff, get on the truck. We'll make one trip. We'll take you to where the food is. We have deserts in America. We just don't live in a asshole. 
Hitchcock's such a good fucking actor, isn't he, huh? <laughs> There's a movie coming out every two weeks. <laughs> he's got a new one out, it's crazy. He's back. He's pissed off. He's ready to kick ass. He's never been better than this. Chuck Norris in Who Called Me An Actor? <laughs> Who Was It A Fuck? <laughs> Chuck Norris in Who Called Me An Actor? <laughs> I'm having a good time. It's good to be back in Toronto. It is. I haven't been here about a year and a half. Because you guys have the shittiest fucking blow in the world, man. <laughs> the four people that get that one. All right. How do you have such bad cocaine when you're so close to a fucking seaport, folks? How hard is it to get fucking shit in? I don't know. I don't do drugs. And uh, I don't think drugs have any place in the entertainment industry. As in Pinocchio. Do I need slides up here tonight? What's it gonna say? I need some fucking charts. <laughs> oh, but uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm in love with women. I wouldn't dress like this. I'm between relationships right now. I'm single, so if any girls wanna fuck me, make a line after the show. We'll look at you, we'll see, I don't know, we'll check you out. I'm taking auditions. So, uh, I broke up about a year ago. And uh, I was with this girl for about two and a half years. And I found a perfect way to get out of a relationship. If you want to get out of a relationship in a good way, check this out, this is what you do. You start doing, well, that, first of all, you gotta realize, it's not always easy to be honest. You know, you just, you know, you can't always go, well, you get the fuck out of my life! I hate you, you fucking bitch! I hear your voice, I wanna fucking grab a cornice! You can't always say that. You feel it, but you can't always say it. That's why a lot of married men sleep as much as they can. They come home, they go right to bed. <laughs> Honey, now you wanna stay up once to me? No, no, I just wanna go to bed. I just wanna sleep and forget that I'm married to you! Oh! Because when you're asleep, you can dream. Get that rapid eye movement going on. You can dream that you're somebody else. You can dream that you're far away on some fucking tropical isle. Island girls all over you, doing whatever you want. Completely subservient. Hey! Don't make me fucking draw attention to you. It's not a very pleasant experience. <laughs> It's nothing you survive, I'm telling you. The last people that fucked, act, fucked with my act have since chosen never to speak in public again. They don't even order their own food in a restaurant, they point at the picture. They're afraid to pray in church, they whisper, they go, God, God, please make me a mute. Take the gift of speech away from me, rip out my fucking tongue! I miss what's that? Get it enough! Oh! I never want to feel that again! 